Okay, I'm going to create a simple scalping uh, bot using the automation tool. So we need to select a market. You can see we're selecting the next market that's available to us here. I'm going to click on automation and we're going to create a new rules file for selected market. Now, if you're watching this video, this rule is probably going to be available for you to download. So in which case you would store it on your machine and do import a rules file and then it will appear in the drop down list up here. But because we're creating something completely from fresh, we're going to do create a new rules file for selected market. Click on that and then that brings up the rules dialog box. So what we're going to do here is we're going to first of all place a back bet, place a back bet. We're going to call this element of the rule and of course with it we're going to place a back bet and we're going to say here relative to the event start time. So we're going to start doing this five minutes out and we're going to stop let's say 10 seconds before the event start time. Um, I'm going to let this trigger 100 times every 5 seconds and we are going to place this um, in row 1, basically the favourites, uh, on Betfair. So that is saying place a back bet within this constraint, i.e. 5 minutes out to 10 seconds out. And we need to apply some parameters to this. So what we're going to do is say custom ticks above market price, one tick above the current market price. We're going to do it for a fixed amount. We're going to do this for £10. And we're going to apply global settings. And this is because we want to trade this market. We want to um, be active on this rule to be able to go into this market and um, actually put a, an offset bet in. So we're going to do offset bet, offset by one, no stop in there, fill or kill, delay, 15 seconds, and one batch. So this will place an offset bet in, it will place a back bet in. If that gets matched, Bet Angel will automatically put the offset bet in at a profitable position. Now we're going to add some conditions to this as well. So the first condition will say in play condition the market is not in play. That would not be helpful. Um, but we're also going to add in a condition that we've added uh, to the rules time, which is uh, to the rules recently, which is the unmatched bet time condition. This stops double bets from going in the market because for cycling or timing reasons that may occur. Um, so we're going to this condition eliminates that. So we're going to say time since the market contained an unmatched bet is greater than two seconds because I think we said we're going to go in every uh, five seconds yeah so that basically means it's going to fire the bet in every two every five seconds and it's going to wait two seconds before it even attempts to put anything else in. So market not in play time since unmatched bet two seconds. We're going to apply that rule and you can see that rule um, appears up here. So now we've created this first, this is an element within a rule. So what we're going to do is we need to name the rule, and we're going to name this rule um, horse, hold on, let's do this properly, horse racing scalping. And the first part of the bet that we've constructed here, or the first part of the automation rather, is to place a back bet in the market, offset it by one, um, and we do that given these conditions. All that will do is trade in and out of the market. We need to exit the market at some point. So if I click on the plus sign here, um, what we can do is um, hedge profit. I'm going to put or loss because, of course, you know you have to assume that both could occur. Uh, although we hope that the former will uh, occur. And you can see there are a list of options that we've got here. Other than just place a back or lay back, you've got so many other different options on here as well. And what we're going to do here is do a green all selections option. And the previous uh, rule went from five minutes to 10 seconds out. So what we need to do here is we're going to start this one at 10 seconds out. And we're going to basically say from 10 seconds until five seconds after the event start time, so a total of 15 seconds, trigger the rule three times every five seconds. So we will actively trade this market from five to ten sec uh, five minutes to ten seconds out. At that point, the hedge, the greening kicks in, and the first one occurs at 10 seconds, the next one occurs at five, and then the next one occurs at zero. Um, and that will close out our position for us. So you can tighten up or loosen these rules as much as you like. It's up to you how you want to do. No parameters required with greening. 
but you could apply conditions to it if you wanted to. Um, but on this occasion we're not going to apply conditions to it. What we will do is apply this rule though and um, sorry I just left a condition on, on open there. We are going to apply this rule um, and there you see this particular rule called horse racing scalping. This rules file contains two instructions one to place a back bet on the favourite offset and then we green up whatever happens at the end of that particular market. Um, so that rule is done and dusted. If we wanted to we could add in loads more lines on this rule if we wanted to and what you could actually do was place another bet on something else. Um, however you want to do you can just layer the rules below this but um, on this particular occasion um, we're not particularly fussed about doing that. So when you've done that what you need to do is apply it to a market. So you can look at a market that's coming up and you can actually you can see I've written a few here um, you can actually go in and apply um, that particular rule to the market. So we wanted to apply horse racing scalping, we can apply it to that race. So you can select individual races uh, that you want to perform this on or you could actually um, apply it to all just by using these instructions here. But basically that rule is now um, going to get underway at um, Hexham at 15.15. We can close down Guardian um, as long as we keep that angel active, then that will automatically perform that function for us. So uh, what we'll do is return to this market in a second and uh, see what happens. Okay, we're a bit further on now and you can see we've got the clock up here. And we scheduled the activity to start five minutes out, so we should see this spring to life any second now. There we go. So what you saw there was the um, back bet fired in and with the back bet fired in bet angel offset it and put the lay bet in which is at 365 so if the price goes down to 365 then we will find that um, that bet gets matched and bet angel will look to put another bet in so if I go to uh, the automation area now if we look at the tabs underneath here you can see that there actually there's no one match bets it must have just matched there you go um, you can also see a, a dialogue here of what's happening. So we've had two triggers so far on this particular rule. No triggers on the green all because that hasn't occurred at the moment. And you can see in the log it's telling you what's going on within this particular market. And you can also see on here we've got two matched bets. So you can see here it's updating the information as things occur. And you've got full access to all the information here. And if we go back to the main screen you can see um, that it will be busy working away in the market for you and we'll return again uh, when it's about to green up. Okay, as you can see we're just about at the start of the race and uh, I tried to catch the uh, greening out taking place but unfortunately I've just missed that because I've been busy trading the um, market myself. But you can see here that we basically the software has traded automatically. There's been no need for me to intervene at any point and it's greened up for a pound 11 using 10 pound stakes. 10 pound stakes were the stake that we nominated in the rule. Uh, we can check on what happened here. Um, you can see there are no unmatched bets. These are all of the match bets that went through. We had 10 triggers on the automation and you can see that there were three triggers on the um, greening up process there and the log contains all the information that you need to know about what actually happened in the market. So there you go, fairly simple uh, rule and you can see that that's resulted in a profit of £1.11 using £10 stakes.